What do you need to bring when you're traveling with your baby? That's definitely a question that I had before I ever traveled with mine. I've been traveling mostly by myself for the last 10 years. I even went a full year doing carry-on only before having a baby. And so my biggest question was how can I do this without having so much stuff that it's overwhelming. So I just took a trip recently with my family to Vermont. We, it was me, my partner, and our baby Felix. And we honestly did a really good job <laughs> with the packing. And all of it pretty much fit into just one side of a large suitcase. So I was really proud of that. And I wanna share with you today what we brought and also importantly, what we didn't bring. First and foremost, your diaper bag. I spent way too much time researching this. There are so many different diaper bag options out there, seriously. It took me like days, almost a week to just narrow it down to find a diaper bag backpack that was like functional, that had all of the pockets I wanted and that ended up being convenient. It just needed to be something that was easy to use. I really didn't care about it being cute. I cared about it being functional. So we ended up with the Jeep Ultimate Freedom. It has a pocket on the side that you can put bottles into. It's insulated, so that's really helpful. I can fit two bottles into that side pocket. There's also a wipes pocket, and this was really key because I don't wanna be digging through <laughs> trying to find my wipes when I'm just trying to change my baby really quickly at the airport. It has tons of space. It's a really big backpack. We can easily clip it to our stroller, and I just liked that I could fit everything in there that we really needed. So we brought lots of diapers. I mean, enough diapers to probably last us like two full days, just because if we got laid over, something got canceled, I didn't wanna to have to buy some very expensive diapers that I probably wasn't gonna be super stoked about at the airport. We also put an extra wipes pack in there. We bring two glass bottles that have water in them for his formula. I also bring my wearable breast pumps. These things, honestly, they are an investment. They are pricey, but they have been so useful for me. I've traveled without Felix before and I was able to pump on the go and that just made it really easy to go into the bathroom, stick them in real quick, go back into the bathroom when I was done, pour it into a bottle and clean everything up in there. They also make it possible for me to exclusively pump when we're traveling with Felix. Um, I'm not able to breastfeed him, so I do exclusively pump with him. We also combo feed with formula. And so it's just really nice that this backpack has all of the pockets that we need to store all the stuff required for that. I also bring two extra outfits for him in there just because you never know what could happen. This diaper bag does have its own changing mat, but if your diaper bag doesn't have its own changing mat, definitely bring one of those because you don't wanna just put your baby like raw on that <laughs> changing table at the airport, gross. I also have a portable washing system. This is honestly the best like $19 I've ever spent. That sounds like I'm being ridiculous, but seriously, it has simplified cleaning on the go so much. I bring my own soap in a human gear container. It's a silicone container. And then I can just bring that into the bathroom and clean up all of the bottles and the pump parts. And it's just way easier and more sanitary than trying to do it in any other method. I also bring some diaper balm with him in there. I like the Earth Mama brand. It's a nice size to fit in there. It also has a pocket for cell phones at the top. And there's a whole bunch of internal pockets as well to stick different things into. The nice thing is a diaper bag doesn't count against your carry-on luggage, at least in the US for most airlines that I'm aware of. So that was a big plus. Next, what we brought in our suitcase. We brought enough extra diapers and wipes to last us the whole trip just because it was a one week trip and we really didn't wanna to have to run out and get more as soon as we got there. But of course, if you're trying to maximize space, you can certainly buy them once you land. We brought ample burp cloths with us. I also always bring a little waterproof blanket. It's plastic on one side and then cotton on the other side and that way just if we have him on any furniture any bedding we don't have any accidents where we're in a situation where we've kind of just ruined some furniture in the place that we're staying that would not be cool next the sleep stuff we have the snoo at home it is a godsend it will rock him to sleep it plays white noise for him and so we try to just recreate that as best we can when we're traveling um, we don't have anything that can move him but what I like to do is put him in the Magic Merlin sleep suit. I don't know how it works, but it works really well for us when we're on the go. And then we have a shusher. It's a small device that will run for maybe 20, 30 minutes to help the baby get to sleep. We really like to use this because it's a lot of work sitting there shushing yourself. And for whatever reason, that sound just really lulls him to sleep and also a white noise machine that doubles as a light. It's a hatch restore. I wish that it was a little bit more user-friendly. I think that the hatch that's meant for babies would actually be better. I bought that one thinking, oh, it's, it's top of the line, it's better. <laughs> but actually, it's a little bit harder to use. I always have to connect to Wi-Fi to make it work, which makes it a little bit clunky for travel. 
and only one of us can log in with it because it's meant to be a personalized thing. So I don't know how the other one is. I assume it's a little bit more user-friendly for parents and it's a lot cheaper as well. So I would probably buy that one. But there have been many times where we were very glad to have white noise machine because there were kids one place that we were staying. We got put above a bar another place that we were staying and Felix was able to sleep through all of that because we had the white noise machine. We also have a travel bassinet. It folds so you can put more things in it. We didn't need to bring it for this trip because we were going to a place where a friend had a pack and play that we could use, but certainly we could have brought this and put it in the suitcase. Next, we brought ample clothes and hats for him. Obviously, what you bring is heavily gonna depend on where you're going, but we wanted to make sure that his head was warm and always protected from the sun, so definitely bring at least something like that so that if you wanna be outside and enjoying yourself when you're traveling, which you probably do, your baby will be protected from the sun and the cold. Clothing-wise, I always bring a little bit extra so that we don't have to do laundry all the time, especially since you don't know what the laundry facilities might be like where you're going. The nice thing about baby clothes is they're very small, so we brought pretty much all the clothes that we have for him during this age range, which is about a week and a half's worth. Do not forget the nail file. As you know, baby claws, and I, I really mean claws, they are sharp, they're like kitten claws, and so forgetting the nail file for a whole week can be really bad news. We definitely like to file his nails down as much as like once every other day. So I was very glad to have that nail file with us. We have an electric one where you can change the heads out as they grow. So that's been really useful for us and I was sure to bring it when we traveled as well. We also brought his Love Every Toys with us. This play gym that we have for him gives me, I think, hours back each day. He loves looking at the contrast cards that came with it. He loves playing with the toys that hang from the top. Um, the first time I really ever saw him like zero in on something and try to bat at it was when he was playing with his play gym. It's perfect for tummy time. There's a little mirror that he can look at himself in. So we really love it at home and we wanted to recreate it as best we could on the go. So we also have the Looker Play Kit, which is meant for babies up to about three months. And so we have contrast cards in there and a foldable. He can look at those. We also have a little contrast book that I put in our diaper bag and bring with us. We can even hang these little round contrast, uh, we call them contrast sausages. Whoa, oh yeah, bro. From his car seat handle. It's made from organic cotton and wood, and just I like having minimal plastic, minimal toxic chemicals around my baby as he's growing. I also love how they're designed for each step of his development. So we bring the rattle, the contrast cards, and as much as we can fit whenever we travel with him. When it comes to the stroller or car seat, you've got options. You can either bring it all the way through the airport with you and gate check it. You can check it as hold luggage. That's what we did, we risked it. <laughs> you can also bring it on the aircraft with you if you buy your child their own seat so that you can just strap them into their car seat. We chose to check it so that there was one less thing we had to deal with. I choose to wear my baby through the airport and I will do that for as long as possible because it's so much easier to just put him in, strap him on and walk through the airport. <laughs> I've tried many different types of carriers and wraps. I used the Solly Baby Wrap on the way there and then I used an Artie Pop on the way back. The biggest thing to me is weight distribution that is comfortable and both of them have that and so those ones are the ones that I like. Garrett actually really likes the Omni Baby 360 so I would try different ones on and see what works best for you. The nice thing about wearing your baby through the airport is you can't stroll them through the metal detector, but you can wear them through the metal detector. So if your baby's asleep, you don't have to wake them up to get through that part of the airport process. The last major thing is bathing and shower time. What we tend to do when we travel is leave all of his bath stuff at home except for his soap. We use the Honest Company soap and so we just bring enough with us that all of us can use it and we will bring him into the shower with us. We have to make sure to not have the temperature as hot as we would normally like, and it's super slippery in there, so obviously if you choose to do this, be really careful, but we have found that that works really well for us as opposed to trying to cart all of his bath stuff around with us. And even at home, we put his bathtub on a little ledge that we have in the shower, or actually it's quite a big ledge that we have in the shower, it's very stable, don't worry, and we bathe him that way. So family shower time is kind of how we do it at home. So we just repeat that on the road, but uh, Garrett holds him and then I wash him and, and rinse him and all of that stuff. So that's the way that we handle that. And that is how we keep things as minimalist as we possibly can. I hope that helped you. There is more baby content on this channel and certainly more coming soon. If you want to watch our trip to Vermont, you can watch that here. I will see you next week.